It's, uh, it's also November. Yeah, okay. I can do without November. I think it looks like a lot of fun if you can actually grow a mustache. Yeah. The rest of us are kind of standing around like, hi, I want to play. I like to support the team. Well, no. It sucks. One month of the year we get to celebrate our manhood. Let's emasculate the ones who can't grow any facial hair. <laughs> I just wish we'd pick a ribbon and be done with it, you know? Just pick a ribbon like the rest of them. I don't need a normal level of testosterone in my body to pin a ribbon on my jacket. Let's go that route for that. But, uh, you know, the problem is there's no ribbons left. That's the real issue I think we're walking into here. Don't get anything new in the disease department. We are fresh out of ribbons. <laughs> All the good colors are taken. Pink, blue, white, yellow, gone. Can't get anything anymore. Every color of the rainbow represents something. Now, it's hard to find a symbol. Can't use the rainbow for anything anymore. I mean, gay people fucked that up for everyone a long time ago. <laughs> Even in nature, it's not quite what it used to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I can't even look at a rainbow the same way anymore. Now it's just like one big gay bat signal up in the sky. That's what I see. Like, I wonder where they're going tonight. Probably somewhere fancy. I don't need one, but some people, you like to have mustaches. Some people look good with mustaches. Some, I think, should have them. Um, I don't know. I, I like my pilots to have a mustache. I don't know what it is. I walk onto a plane, I see a pilot with a mustache, I'm like, yeah, he can land this pill, no sweat. Find my seat four degrees and fall asleep. This guy can help. But it's gotta be the mustache. It's gotta be a nice, bushy pilot mustache. Can't go fucking around. I want a pilot with a goatee. This guy looks like he went to class hungover. No, thank you. <laughs> One of those beards with no mustache. Then you're like, oh great, this guy's Amish. He's gonna be you know, churning butter in the cockpit the whole time. <laughs> Screw! He doesn't know of switches. <laughs> Leave the cell phone on with this guy. I like my cops to have a mustache. You know? If a man in uniform comes to my door with a mustache, I feel safe and secure. <laughs> Unless it's a pizza delivery guy uniform, then I'm like, great, I'm in a porno. But, uh, <laughs> really communicates a lot. Mustache. It's hard though, it's hard to give it to charity, isn't it? I think. It's hard enough. <laughs> you have to give shit to other people. <laughs> well, I get it again. It's not human nature, you know? You always want a little something back, if you're honest with yourself. Give me something, a little something back. Give me a donation, can I have a tax receipt? Please, sir. Take this shit off, you know? I donate $100 to the Heart Stroke Foundation every year. That's because I think I have a shot at winning a house. That lottery. <laughs> You give, but you want a little something back. It's like giving money to a homeless person, but only the ones who will play a musical instrument for you. You know? Like a guy sitting there with a hat, forget it. The guy sitting there with a hat, and he's playing the spoons, and one of those spoons is a fork. You, my friend, just got 25 cents closer to a subway token. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you fucking did with that effort. I roll.